before he passed. <laughs> but then she thought immediately of you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hypothetically, would you do the book? In a snap. And what if, hypothetically, <laughs> all the pictures of these men were done in very good taste, artistically naked? Are we still hypothetical? No. Now we're naked. <laughs> so what you're saying to me is this pornographer has convinced a group of geezers far past the heyday to drop trial for some bizarro whoopee book, and you want to know if I'd be willing to debase myself and join the ranks of these desperate perverts. <laughs> All right, I can see you're on the fence. We'll table it for now, we'll discuss it over lunch. Good, 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 good. Uh, Bob, hypothetically, someone backed into your car. <laughs> Hello. Great news. I got accepted into celibacy camp. <laughs> How do you get rejected from celibacy camp? Oh, and I used a coupon, so I get all three days for only $1,500. $1,500? It may be celibacy camp, but somebody is getting screwed. Why? It covers meals, lodging, classes. What kind of classes do they have at celibacy camp? Uh, let's see, there's... Keeping Your Legs Closed 101. Let me see that. You are so easy. <laughs> Moly, Janet. This is supposed to be celibacy camp? Everybody in these pictures is naked. I should have known you'd react like this. You are so uptight about the human body. I am not uptight. I am appropriate. Bob Patterson, you are the most repressed human being on this earth. Do you know that in the seven years we were married, I can't ever remember seeing you naked? Count your blessings. <laughs> but you're being ridiculous. Every night we'd get under the covers and there'd be 20 minutes of grunting and sweating and twisting and that was just you getting out of your robe. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to be mysterious. X-Files is mysterious. You're a head job. <laughs> All right, there's no mystery, okay? You are just ashamed of your body. That's why you wear a t-shirt when you go swimming. I don't like to go topless. He says topless because he has boobs. <laughs> Jeffrey, I do not have boobs. You can't even say boobs without getting all nervous. <laughs> Dr. Technic says you're self-loathing. Does Dr. Technic ever discuss you in these sessions? I could say boobs, no problem. Dr. Technic says that's amazing, considering... Considering what? The fact that you've never seen any? I've seen yours. Bob, you do have big-time body issues. Janet, I do not have body issues. I may not run around for $1,500 a pop at camp looking no touchy. I will have you know that this body was invited to be photographed today in all of its naked glory. What are you talking about? <laughs> A world-renowned photographer has asked me to pose El Buffo. Oh, and you said yes. You bet I said yes. <laughs> I didn't hesitate for a second. My socks were off before I hung up the phone. I am so mad. The whole world is going to see raw and naked Bob Patterson. <laughs> what did the whole world ever do to deserve this? <laughs> All right, let's hear it for the newest star of Vivian Broussard's Naked Power, our own Bob Patterson. <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. You know, uh, taking off your clothes is no great achievement. <laughs> Besides, what really counts is not what's beneath the clothes, but... What's beneath the skin? I'll cut the chit-chat. Let's see some booty. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's get back to work. Bob has to get ready for the press conference. Thank you, everybody. Thank uh, you. Bob, Bob, now, you will not find a more devoted, unpaid intern, but you probably noticed that I wasn't among the cheering crowd. Frankly, Vic, I wasn't aware you were in the office. 
Bob, I cannot advise strongly enough that you put the kibosh on this whole notion. Oh, really? A little intimidated by the old guy, huh? <laughs> Bob? College swim team. I was asked to pose in a speedo for the school calendar. A lot of peck, a little cheek, you know. <laughs> Strangers started calling me. Letters came in the mail with no return addresses. Next thing you know, I'm in a canvas bag in the back of a van heading for Tijuana, where I spend the next month doing two shows a night at Pedro's Triple X Waffle Hut. <laughs> that happens to you twice, Bob, and you learn your lesson. I'll be watching your back, Bob. <laughs> Claudia, I, uh, I truly appreciate the support, but this is an office. Oh, no, Miss Patterson, don't you dare diminish this accomplishment. You have done an amazing thing today. You a role model. Really? Oh, absolutely. No, I'm so tired of these sculptured muscle boys passing as real men. I mean, like that's the only image of the human body we want to see. <laughs> well, that is very sweet, oh. Claudia. You know, I have to admit I did have some reservations about that. Oh. Well, I'm not exactly a man of stature, and uh, I could stand to lose a few pounds, and my hairline has admittedly begun to recede, so... Yeah. I... <laughs> be looking or thinking about any of that, Miss Patterson. When we open that book, our eyes are driving straight to the basket. Excuse me? Your package, Mr. P. <laughs> Don't spare a rod and spoil this child. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, have I crossed the line, Miss Patterson? having second thoughts. What are you talking about? You're the star of the book, you major player, you. About the major player thing, I, I, I'm not sure that I am. Of course you are. But my actual player may not be that major. <laughs> Bob, you've been with plenty of women. Any complaints? No, no complaints. No letters of recommendation, either. <laughs> What about the, the locker room? Don't you look around, compare? <laughs> look around and compare? What are you, sick? That's demented. What do you want me to do? Could you take a look? <sighs> For God's sake. All right, drop them. <laughs> down. Can't we dim the lights? What, are you looking for romance? <laughs> On three. One, two, three. Congratulations, you're in the book. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hell of a way to make a living. She's here. There she is, Vivian Brassad. Wow. You never told me she was gorgeous. And a devotee of Bob uh, Patterson, a real fan. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, Bob. What are you doing here, Vic? I'm watching your back, Bob. Hello, Mr. Bob Patterson. I'm Henry, Vivienne's assistant. I'm a big fan. Oh, uh, back up, buddy. Stay away from the celebrity. Vic, he's Vivienne's assistant, for God's sake. You got any ID? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> All right, but the address isn't current. Oh, for <laughs> Pablo, Vivian's signaling. Thinks she wants me to introduce her to the press. If you touch anybody else, I will personally send you back to the Waffle Hut. Gotcha, Bob. I'll just uh, keep my eyes open just in case. Ladies and gentlemen, the inspiration behind Naked Power, my inspiration, Mademoiselle Vivienne Broussard. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. What was that? What, what was that? What was what? What did she just say? Hello in French. Et bienvenue à la conférence de presse pour ma oh nouvelle God. création. Oh my God! <laughs> She's actually French. Hey, they're not my favorite people either. 
Let's suck it up a little, for God's sake. Look, you don't understand. I have a condition. Fifth grade, my French teacher, a little minx. Whenever she spoke in her native tongue, let's just say, my Gerard de Pardude. <laughs> what? Look, to this day, when a woman speaks French, young, old, horribly disfigured, it doesn't matter. My John Paul Belmondo's. <laughs> Et maintenant, j'ai le grand honneur de vous présenter Monsieur Bob Patterson. You're up. You're me. Um, uh, I, I, uh, I am obviously excited. Uh, you know, I never thought I would pose nude, and uh, that's not to say that it isn't hard. <laughs> But I, I know that I am in the hands of a great artist, and I just hope that I can rise to the occasion. Thank you very much. Oh, sweetheart English, English, sweetheart English. English is not so good. I just, I just want to say I'm looking forward to doing you. And I want to thank you so much for, for coming in advance. Thank you. <laughs> It all started years ago when I emerged from this canvas bag in Tijuana. How you doing, buddy? I can't believe it happened again. Nobody knew but me. I mean, you're the master of finesse. You know how you always remember the kid who threw up in health class? Mm -hmm. Chuck Conlon. Everyone called him Up Chucky. <laughs> well, after French class, I became that kid. Only I was Pup Ted Patterson. <laughs> Children can be so cruel. No, my father gave me that name. <laughs> How'd you deal with it? <laughs> Badly. My body betrayed me and I never forgave it. I buried my humiliation in food. By the time I was 12, I had gained 60 pounds and was prematurely bald. I can't face that woman. I can't face myself. Just cancel the photo shoot. Absolutely not. This is not about career or bookings. Patterson seminar training is, is meaningless next to this. This is about you inside the skin of Bob Patterson. Would you look at me? This. This is Bob Patterson. <laughs> I tried every diet, every ointment that claims it's gonna grow hair. Look at the result! Bob, if you don't face this fear and overcome it, you're gonna be a short, little, overweight, bald guy for the rest of your life. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna do exactly what you did when you left that steady, reliable paycheck that he used to get from selling big screen TVs and roll the dice, risking it all to become Bob Patterson. You're gonna jump in with both feet. Yeah, but back then I had shoes and socks and underpants. Bob. Mm -hmm. This time I'm gonna jump in naked. Good. Bob, Nick told me about your little French problem. Take this. What's this? Monk's pepper tea makes it virtually impossible for a man to perform for like an hour or two. Janet, how do I thank you? Just say merci beaucoup. <laughs> Look at Mr. Confidence. Mr. I'm comfortable in my own skin. How's the tea working? Any activity? I gotta tell you, I think the kids are down for the night. I can come in. Come on in, entrez-vous. Hello. Uh, excuse me, but 
there is going to be a small delay before he makes the picture. Bob, uh, you okay? Yeah, fine. <laughs> so. Monsieur Patterson, I hope that you don't think I'm being too forward. No, no, you're, you're perfectly aligned. <laughs> because, you see, I, I, I research all of my models before I photograph them. And, and so I read all of your books and, and your words. They touch me. Lucky words. <laughs> Everyone tells me, you know, Monsieur Bob Patterson, he's, he's so, he's so serious, so, so rigid. Then I see you at the press conference and, and you are so, so fun and, 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 and so playful well. and, and so, so je ne sais quoi. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even though I usually prefer to be the one who has the boobs, uh, I cannot get you out of my mind and i was hoping that maybe you and me we could be together well I would, I would love to get together i think i have an opening on thursday yes thursday's good is it thursday already <laughs> mm. wow a, a french kiss <laughs> listen uh, as a native what, what do you think perrier or evian or whoa <laughs> You do not want me. You find me distasteful. Oh, no, no, no. I all contrary. I find you very, very tasteful. But why is nothing happening down there? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. You like boy. Uh, no. no, no, no. Forget to say. No, no, forget that more. We just make the picture. No, okay. forget the no, picture. No, no, it's okay. Forget you forget like boy. Lamour. It's okay. No, I don't like you like boy. What's the matter? What happened? My Jacques wouldn't Cousteau. Oh. Oh, well, Linda, what's with all the delays? I used my last tea bag three hours ago. I'm sucking on leaves here. I call Claudia. She should be here with a box any minute. All right, Mr. Patterson, it's magic time. I'm terribly sorry about the delay. Now, if you'll follow me. Here's the concept. Vivian sees you as Moses, the ultimate motivator, descending Mount Sinai and delivering your message to your people. Uh, by the by, I spoke to Vivian. I understand you've got an opening Thursday. <laughs> so, Bob, you all right? Oh, I'm not all right. I gotta tell you, Lando, I don't know if I can do this. I think I may have been using my penis as a crutch. I mean, this whole French Yahoo thing is just uh, an excuse for my insecurities and my body issues. What do you say? I don't want to be a naked guy. <laughs> Mr. Patterson? Mr. Pa oh, I, oh, did I miss it? Claudia, did you find the tea? Oh, no, they were all out, but I ordered you some. It'll be here Thursday. Oh, Thursday shaping up to be quite a day. Well, Mr. Patterson, if you'd like to ascend the mountain... Bring the Israelites in, please. Thank you. Oh, well, I got the best seat in the house. Israelites, drop the towels, please. Oh, Israelites, let my people go. What the hell just happened here? We went from the Holy Land into a Madonna video. We're going to have a wonderful shoot today. Bonjour, Monsieur Patterson. All right, Mr. Patterson, your turn. The robe, please. Mm. Bob. You can do it. In one minute, Top Ten Patterson will be history. Très bien, Monsieur Patterson. Wonderful. On va prendre une superbe photo. Ça va être... So, right, Father, this is going to be big. It's right, extraordinary. You know, I, uh, I don't want to be a stick in the mud, but uh, I just realized uh, many of the Israelites are not uh, Hebrew. So, <coughs> for the authenticity of the shot, it's Drop you, rogue dear. <laughs> Do it, Bob. <laughs> voilà, Monsieur Patterson, c'est fantastique, c'est très très bien. Voilà, mettez-vous bien au milieu. Vous êtes très oh, puissant, boy. very powerful. Okay, tout le monde, allez, les mains en l'air. Hands up. C'est magnifique Oh, Mr. Patterson.
medicine taking something to the top? Yes, lots of boys. Oh, oh. Just put the picture down. We'll go swimming. Bob, what is with the T-shirt? <laughs> no, he passed. <laughs> but then she thought immediately of you. Uh huh. Hypothetically, would you do the book? In a snap. And what if, hypothetically, all the pictures of these men were done in very good taste, artistically naked? Are we still hypothetical? No. Now we're naked. So what you're saying to me is this pornographer has convinced a group of geezers far past the heyday to drop trial for some bizarro whoopee book and you want to know if I'd be willing to debase myself and join the ranks of these desperate perverts. Uh. All right. I can see you're on the fence. We'll table it for now. We'll discuss it over lunch. Good, 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 good. Uh, Bob. Hypothetically, someone backed into your car. <laughs> Great news. I got accepted into celibacy camp. How do you get rejected from celibacy camp? Oh, and I used a coupon, so I get all three days for only $1,500. $1,500? It may be celibacy camp, but somebody is getting screwed. Why? It covers meals, lodging, classes. What kind of classes do they have at celibacy camp? Oh, uh, let's see. There's... Keeping your legs closed 101. Let me see that. You are so easy. <laughs> Moly, Janet. This is supposed to be celibacy camp. Everybody in these pictures is naked. I should have known you'd react like this. You are so uptight about the human body. I am.